Welcome everyone. This PPT is based on a research of two textiles by two artists that are not famous outside the art world, even though their designs are still prevalent to this day. An affair with textiles highlights the differences between two art pieces, that is, Strawberry Thief by William Morris and Black, White and Yellow by Anne Albers. William Morris was a British-born designer in the 19th century. He was the torchbearer for the arts and crafts movement, a movement focused on reviving the old traditional methods of art and design. Annie Albers was a German-born designer. She was associated with the Bauhaus School of Design. She was the only female head of department at that time. The Bauhaus movement was modernistic and believed in functionalism. The Strawberry Thief, a textile by William Morris, shows an elaborate scene of birds stealing strawberries from the bushes of an orchard. This is a typical example of a work from the arts and crafts movement. It is expressive and intricate. This can be seen in the picture on the left. Morris was inspired by the birds in his garden to print this textile. Black, White and Yellow by Annie Albers is a pattern of rectangles and successfully conveys the principles of Bauhaus. The textile is modern and simple and is inspired by the windows at Bauhaus School. The Strawberry Thief is a very colorful textile. Its color scheme is one of the reasons why it looks so bright and bold. The main colors used were indigo, orange, yellow, green, and red. There is a very striking difference between the two textiles because of their color palettes. Such an elaborate and vivid color palette can be seen in his other works as well. Black, white, and yellow has a neutral color scheme and has shades and tints of just three colors, which are black, white, and yellow. Annie Albers used this color scheme to give a simplistic approach, and she used the colors just to differentiate between the two edges and rectangle. The strawberry thief was made using the block printing method. An example of this is shown with the picture on the top left. The fabric in the strawberry thief was dyed with indigo and bleached color blocks were used to print the pattern. The repeating motifs of leaves, birds, and strawberries is formed. This method was prevalent during the 19th century. On the other hand, black, white, and yellow is a hand woven textile with a very simple weaving pattern. A weft and bob technique is applied, which results in a higher, sorry, tighter textile. This helps in the dyeing process of the textile. A diagram of this pattern is shown on the right side of the slide. The strawberry thief is a textile rich in formalism. The design is very intricate and flowy. Although the design has a lot of elements, it is not chaotic. As visible in the picture attached, the strawberries, leaves, and the birds are placed in a symmetrical manner. It is a machine woven cotton textile. The black, white, and yellow follows an abstract and asymmetrical pattern. It is a repetition of rectangles of varying sizes. The rectangles are placed horizontally and vertically. Annie Albers did not shy away from trying new things. She had a passion for mixing new materials to create hybrid textiles. For this textile, she has used mercerized cotton and silk. A zoomed in picture shows the pattern in detail. The strawberry thief is a furnishing textile. In the picture on the left, its use as a wallpaper is shown. The deep blue color gave the house a calm vibe and a royal look. Hence, it was preferred to be used for home interiors. Black, white, and yellow was destroyed in a fire during the World War and was remade by Gunther Stolz in the late 20th century. It was then used as a wall hanging.
Through this research, we have tried to showcase the unique style of both the artists. The evolution of design over 30 years is glaringly visible. The color scheme and materials play a very important role in the final outcome of the textile. William Morris and Annie Albers are the master of their times and their works are still studied by students and artists around the world. Following this slide are the slides for reference which we used in our research. Thank you.